Around the world this Christmas, the president offered a message of hope to America while troops overseas honor those killed this week. NBC's news correspondent Edward Lawrence has more from Washington. A somber Christmas in Afghanistan where military members honored six Americans killed this week by a suicide bomber. This was especially important here where we got the opportunity to uh, remember those who we have also lost. More than 200,000 U.S. troops are spending Christmas far from home, including 4,000 celebrating in the African country of Djibouti. Back in the United States, the commander-in-chief recorded a message with the First Lady. They thank those serving in the military while reminding the nation about the Christmas spirit. Treating one another with love and compassion. Caring for those on society's margins, the sick and the hungry. Pope Francis also offered his message of hope. He called for renewed talks between Israel and the Palestinians. The Pope spoke out against terrorism and prayed for those affected by terrorist attacks, specifically mentioning the one in Paris last month. As many celebrated, people in Mississippi and several other states hit by tornadoes the last few days cleaned up. At least 14 people died. In Holly Springs, Mississippi, the community stepped up. We've got Red Cross has been assisting uh, the people that has lost their homes. We've had numerous churches open up their doors and let people stay the night. Others helped those less fortunate from coast to coast. In Washington, D.C., a man who was almost on the streets started a group who fed hundreds of homeless. It's an annual tradition pulled off with volunteers. Edward Lawrence, NBC News, Washington.